I'm ready during the cruise and travel guide. Join me on board Resilient Lady for a full and comprehensive ship tour. Resilient Lady is the third ship to join the Virgin Voyages fleet and the first one to call Australia home. She's 110,000 gross tons and has a capacity for 2,700 adult guests. That's right, the age of admission is 18. We'll begin the tour on Deck 5. Virgin Voyages is famous for doing things in their own way, and their onboard naming convention is proof of that. The guest reception desk is known as Sailor Services, because you are not a guest or traveler when on board, you are a sailor. Virgin Voyages is one of the very few cruise lines to offer access to all of its restaurants at no additional cost. That's right, there is no specialty dining charges, but that doesn't mean you're not going to be spoiled for choice. Aft of the Sailor Services desk, you'll find a show-stopping entrance hallway that leads to Pink Agave, an upscale Mexican restaurant and mezcal bar. The furnishings and general design give this venue a high-end special feel. It's open for dinner daily and I highly recommend a visit during your cruise. On the opposite side of Deck 5 you'll find Razzle Dazzle. This vegetarian forward restaurant is open for brunch and dinner. The origin of the restaurant's name and design comes from the camouflage paint jobs that were common on ships of the US Navy during World War I. On the menu, you'll find vegetarian dishes like mushroom tartare, but also meat options such as fried chicken, with those found listed under naughty items on the menu. Red Bar is the aptly named venue where everything is red. As the cool kids say, it's definitely a vibe. Pity for them they can't actually come on board. The Redemption Spa offers a range of serene spaces for a little onboard luxuriating. There's a locker room to keep your belongings safe and secure during a treatment. The thermal suite offers heated lounges and plunge pools with varying water temperatures. The sea views from the large portholes are an excellent addition to the space. There are steam rooms as well as a sauna. Of course, there's a range of treatments and massages on offer, and these are best booked before your cruise. Showers are also available for use. Moving up to Deck 6, 
will begin midship in the lower level of the Roundabout. This is Virgin's take on a classic ship atrium. At only two levels, it almost reminds me of something you'd find in a much older classic ship, and it has an intimate feeling that I really love. In this area, you'll find On the Rocks. It's one of the ship's many bar venues, and I really loved that it felt like an intimate space. It has a really interesting design with a mix of hard and soft materials offering a luxury feel. Velvety furnishings and large round windows really make the space pop. You'll find live music performances here throughout the day and night. There are even USB-A and US style electrical charging outlets for some remote working or keeping your devices juiced. In fact, you'll find lots of these around the ship. High Street offers a variety of fashion, cosmetics, jewellery and more. There's plenty of shopping opportunities, with high-end designer labels if that's your thing. Aft from here, you'll find two more of Resilient Ladies restaurants. First up, the test kitchen appears to be some sort of lab, and that is reflected in the menu, in that there really isn't one. The venue focuses instead on the creation of experimental dishes, with evolving, chef-driven tasting menus prepared in an involving way for guests, sorry, sailors, to really get into and enjoy. It's definitely a place for the foodies among you. Across the way, you'll find something a lot more ordinary, but no less delicious in Extra Virgin. Here you'll enjoy everything from antipasto to freshly made pastas and seafood. Of course, the surrounds are once again lush and the attention to detail in the restaurant's design is really noticeable. We'll quickly jump back to the third restaurant on deck 6, The Wake. Located all the way aft, this restaurant can only be accessed via deck 7 using the aftmost stairs and elevator bank. This venue is reminiscent of high-end city dining. The venue is open for both brunch and dinner service, and you'll find a focus on upscale cuisine, with steak and seafood being the stars of the show. The stunning wake view windows are a highlight in this restaurant. Jumping back into Extra Virgin, we'll continue walking forward towards the roundabout. There are a few more shops for any forgotten necessities, as well as Virgin Voyages branded merchandise. Next door is Squid Ink, where you can commemorate your cruise by getting a tattoo. Standard catalog tattoos are available at about 150 US dollars, but custom tattoos can also be catered for and start at about 250 US dollars. The Dry Dock is the humorously named hairdresser for your blow dry specialties. Next door is Stubble and Groom, the barbershop. Continuing forward, the Booty Free Shop is where you'll find duty free liquor and tobacco. Continuing forward on deck 6, we enter the casino. 
there's a large variety of dealer table games and slot machines. It's a popular venue when the ship is at sea, particularly during the evening. Called The Manor, this two-level nightclub is defined by its entrance, which I'm sure you've already seen on social media. It makes a pretty epic photo spot. Apart from a nightclub, you'll also find cabaret-style production shows here throughout your cruise. There's even an extra-charge dinner option with the immersive and unique show Another Rose. Workouts and bingo are also held in this space. It's another fun and unique area that separates Virgin Voyages from other cruise lines. In place of the traditional cruise ship theatre, Resilient Lady offers the Red Room. This two-level venue is located forward across both Deck 6 and 7 and is a live performance space. Unlike regular theatres, the Red Room is multifunctional, with immersive production shows that often involve acrobatics and aerial performances. Stadium-style seating can be moved out of the way, and so it's often transformed into a standing room only venue, with performers making their way through the audience. There's even a pantomime-style show where the audience is actively engaged with the theatrics. Exiting the Red Room on Deck 7 and walking aft, you'll find the Groupie, located on the port side. This is a karaoke venue that offers three private rooms available for hire at no cost. They can fit up to 10 sailors, and you can reserve your room once on board via a paper form. On the starboard side, Sip Champagne Bar is an important fixture on board Resilient Lady. Virgin Voyages has a long-standing partnership with Moet, including its nifty Shake for Champagne feature that lets you shake your smartphone to order a chilled bottle of the bubbly stuff delivered to your location on board. There's a range of seating nooks and lounges with marble-topped tables, and even though the bar occupies a walk-through space, it feels intimate thanks to its clever design. This bar, however, has an extensive menu of various champagne and sparkling wine options, and it's a luxurious space to enjoy a luxurious drink. Afternoon tea is also served here at an additional cost, and this can be booked on board. Continuing aft, we'll enter the upper level of the roundabout. On the starboard side, you'll get lost. Well, assuming you book a future cruise because that's what Virgin Voyages calls its future cruise sales desk. There's also the chart room offering sailor support and shore excursion bookings and advice. I really love this central space and the wide circular staircase that almost beckons you to walk down it. Continuing around the central space towards the port side, you'll find Voyage Vinyl. This vintage record store sells records, and is also where a resident DJ will play their set to get the party started during particular events. Next up is the Draft House. This is the spot to be for those that enjoy an ale or two. There's a wide variety of on-tap offerings that should suit all tastes. Casual, pub-style seating areas plus some lounge spaces make this a comfy place to enjoy some downtime. Continuing aft, you'll find Lick Me Till I Scream. 
This famously named ice cream shop really cements that this is an adults only cruise line. There's a variety of ice cream flavors to choose from and even multiple waffle cone flavors and it's all included in your fare. Further aft, you'll discover another of the ship's casual dining venues. The pizza place is Virgin's Pizzeria. It's all freshly made to order and of course, included in your fare. There's ample indoor seating, or if you'd prefer to dine al fresco, there's an outdoor dining zone too. Unlike many newly built ships, Resilient Lady does in fact feature a wraparound promenade deck. It extends around the entire perimeter of Deck 7, although much of the outward view is obscured by the lifeboats. Still, you can walk around the entire thing and I know many of you will appreciate that. There are plenty of lounging spaces as well, with comfortable looking furniture to enjoy on a day at sea. We'll jump back to the roundabout and walk aft along the ship's starboard side. Here you'll find the Grounds Club, which offers barista-made coffee throughout the day. Although regular filter coffee is included in your fare, barista-made brew comes at an additional expense. A range of freshly made pastries and snacks are on offer free of charge. Continuing the theme of Virgin's unique sense of whimsy, three seahorses make another perfect photo spot. Brave, fearless and daring, it's all just part of the Virgin Voyager's charm. The social club is basically a large games room plus a diner. There's a huge variety of board games and table games on offer so you can verse your fellow sailors in a little friendly competition. It's also connected to the adjacent diner and bar, with classic carnival style offerings such as hot dogs, wings, pretzels and popcorn, plus delicious sweet treats are available. Walking across the ship to the port side, you'll find the arcade, with a variety of classic and retro arcade style games that are completely free to play. Walking forward out of the arcade, you'll come across the Loose Cannon. This local dive bar offers a nautical theme. With high top tables and stools, as well as timber booths, this venue really makes the most of its ocean going theming, plus you might find some hosted karaoke sessions here as well. Back to the ship's starboard side, continuing aft brings us to the dock house.
this is one of the central public venues on board, and it's a lush, elegant space with distinctly Mediterranean styling. There are plenty of seating areas, with little design touches that make it feel homey. The warm space continues with the bar that, of course, offers a delectable range of cocktails and spritzers. As you head further aft, you'll even find a juice bar. There's also a variety of grab-and-go pre-packaged meals and snacks that change over the course of the day. Emerging outdoors, the venue morphs into the dock and is possibly one of my favourite places on board. This outdoor lounge doubles as a metze bar, with freshly made bites served during the venue's open hours. Located across the entire aft section of Deck 7, there's comfortable outdoor furnishings with padded lounges and tables. The view of the wake is of course incredible, and it's the perfect spot from which to watch the world go by. Heading right up to Deck 15 aft, we'll take a look at the outdoor seating section that belongs to the galley. The galley is Virgin Voyages' version of the classic cruise ship buffet. There are around 10 individual food court style shop fronts from where you can order freshly made food. There's a decent variety on offer, including all-day breakfast at the 24-hour Diner and Dash. There's sushi, tacos, burgers, noodles, and toasted sandwiches. Self-serve juice, sodas, and water stations are available throughout. For most of the offerings, there's no need to queue. A server will take your order, including any specific requests, and then bring the food directly to your table. The table service element really elevates the typical food court experience and makes this feel more like a casual restaurant, although be prepared for food items to arrive at different times when ordering from different stalls. Freshly baked pastries and sweets are available as well. On the port side of the galley, you'll find Gun Bay. Arguably one of the most unique dining experiences on board, Gun Bay is a Korean barbecue restaurant, complete with tabletop cooking.
It's a convivial, festive restaurant with the energetic crew and waitstaff encouraging a fun atmosphere, complete with drinking games. Continuing forward through the galley, you'll find the second cafe, Ground Club 2, from where you can purchase barista made and specialty coffees. The galley also offers a grab and go section with pre packaged food items available for those in a rush. Exiting the galley, you'll find the midship fitness zone. The gym is called the B Complex, and it extends across both the port and starboard side of the ship, wrapping itself around the central well-being pool, which we'll see shortly. On the port side, you'll find the bike studio and cardio zone, with plenty of treadmills, rowing machines, and ellipticals. On the starboard side, you'll find the balance studio for things like Pilates, as well as resistance machines and free weights. In the center of it all is the well-being pool. It's a relatively small soaking zone with a thalassotherapy style central pool. You'll also find hot tubs and even additional gym equipment. The gym and tonic bar meanwhile is the place to go for health oriented shakes and juices as well as something stronger with a range of cocktails and other beverages on offer too. Continuing forward, you'll find the Aquatic Club and Bar. This is the main pool on board Resilient Lady and is also one of the central points of the cruise line's famous Scarlet Night. The pool itself is on the small side, especially for a ship of this size. There are lounges lining the perimeter of the pool, as well as deck chairs and lounge nooks off to the side. The adjacent bar will meet all of your beverage needs for a day of fun in the sun. Forward of the pool is the Tune Up. This is the Mani Petty Spa where you can book yourself in for some TLC, and the space even offers excellent views from the floor to ceiling windows. We'll take the forward stairs up to deck 16 to discover Richard's rooftop. Named after Sir Richard Branson, this outdoor lounge and bar zone is available exclusively for sailors traveling in one of the ship's suites.
called Rockstar and Mega Rockstar Suites, the largest of the ship's accommodations provides a number of onboard perks, and among them is access to this space. With hot tubs and a bar that features a complimentary champagne happy hour, this is a spot designed specifically for a little sea day luxury. Walking aft from Richard's rooftop, you'll find the Sun Club. The Sun Club Cafe offers a variety of casual food options, including poke bowls and bao, and is an excellent quick bite venue. This expansive zone is essentially the upper pool deck, designed for those seeking some space to worship the sun while they cruise. There are ample lounges and luxurious love seat areas set up for use during the day. The Sun Club Bar, of course, offers a range of delicious cocktails and beverages. Continuing aft along the ship's port side, you'll find the Training Camp. Fitness classes are included in your fare and are on offer throughout the voyage. Virgin Voyage's fitness focus is on full display, there's even a boxing ring. In here, there's a full range of equipment available for use, which takes advantage of multiple workout styles. Further along, there's a range of more outdoor fitness equipment that is free to use. The sports court is located here too. The netted zone is perfect for playing with the supplied balls. If you feel like a ride on a seesaw on a cruise ship, then this is also the place to be. The athletic club occupies the aft section of deck 16 and spans the full width of the ship. There's wraparound lounge style seating, huge day beds, and of course, the net. The catamaran style net lets you see through it all the way down to the ocean below. You'll probably be thankful for the athletic club bar after or maybe before a go on the net. With the bar providing full drink service, this venue even plays hosts to other events such as the Virgin Voyages PJ Party. Leaving the athletic club zone, you'll find a hot tub and shower. Up to deck 17, you'll discover a dedicated walking and running track called the Runway. This elevated zone is highlighted in red and laps around the back of Resilient Lady. It's nice to have a separate space that doesn't need to be shared with sun loungers and other sailors who are trying to relax. If you're up here, it's for a reason.
The Perch is a multi-use space designed primarily for relaxation with sun lounges available for use during the day, but it's also where you'll find yoga classes. Back down to deck 16 aft and leaving the athletic club zone, there's also additional seating spaces and deck games available here too. Further forward in our last stop on this tour, you'll find the Cabanas. They come complete with charging facilities for your devices and even refrigeration, as well as dedicated service from a crew member. These are private hideaways and can be hired for use once you're on board. I hope you enjoyed that ship tour. If you are ready to book your own cruise on board a Virgin Voyager ship, then just head to my website, thecruiseandtroubleguide.com.au. And if you want to give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, you can do that too, at the Cruise and Trouble Guide. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.